Hello and welcome to our lesson on calculating angles on a straight line and about a point. So there are two properties in today's lesson. The first property is that angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees. So angle A and angle B is equal to 180. And the second angle property is that angles about a point add up to 360 degrees. So angle A at B is equal to 360. Actually, we can create the second angle property using the first, because if you think about it, we have a point here, and we have 180 degrees on top, which is a straight line, and 180 degrees beneath it, which is another straight line, and this is why the angles about the point add up to 360. We can use this to calculate angle A. So angle A plus a 50 degree is equal to 180 because they both lie along the same straight line. We can take away 50 from both sides. So angle A, 50 take away 50 will make zero. So angle A will make 130 degrees. For the next question, we can calculate angle C because it lies along the same straight line as the 140. So angle C plus the 140 degrees is equal to 180. We can take away 140 from both sides. This will make zero. So angle C will equal 40 degrees. We could have applied the same idea to angle E because angle E and the 140 degrees are again on a straight line. So angle E will also make 40 degrees. This means that angle C and E will be equal, and this is called vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles appear in an X shape, and they are always equal. And you can see that angle D and angle 140 degrees are vertically opposite, which means that they will be equal. So angle D will also equal 140 degrees. We can check this is right because all four angles should add up to make 360 degrees. And we have angle C plus 140 plus angle E, which is 40, plus angle D, which is 140. And when we add them together, we do get 360 degrees. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and work out the size of angle A, H, G and F and angle I by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question A, angle A plus the 160 degrees lie along a straight line, so they will add up to make 180 degrees. We can take away 160 from both sides and this will make zero. So angle A is 180 take away 160, which is 20 degrees. We can work out angle H because H add 15 lie along the same straight line. So they will make 180. We can take away the 15 degrees from both sides. 15 take away 15 will make zero. So angle H will equal 180 take away 15, which is 165 degrees. Angle H and angle F are vertically opposite. So angle F will also be 165 degrees. And angle 15 and angle G are vertically opposite. So G will also be 15 degrees. And the last question for question I. We know the angles about the point add up to 360. So the red angle, angle I, plus the 50 degrees will equal 360 degrees. We can take away the 50 from both sides. 50 take away 50 will make zero. So angle I will be equal to 310 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.